There's something missing from one local construction site, and it's helping to build a better community. 7 News at 5 starts now. Well, there's something missing from a construction site in Orchard Park. It's something that was once thought to be a critical tool in the construction business, but now some developers are trying to do away with it altogether, and it may just do us all some good. 7 News reporter Adam Francis has the story. From a distance, it looks and sounds like any construction site. But at this site in Orchard Park, something is missing. A gas-guzzling generator. We haven't used a drop of gasoline in a month and a half, two months. Usually, construction workers rely on generators to provide electricity for their saws, drills, and other tools. And those generators rely on expensive gasoline. Going through the generator is 4.2 gallons a day, every workday. It costs 7 or $8 when I first started. Now it costs 32 bucks a can. With no relief in sight, Dick Gamble took matters into his own hands, constructing his own generator of sorts, replacing gasoline with renewable solar and wind energy. This is not new. This is not new technology. We just stumbled on one spot where it's working, and it's working really well. So well, in fact, that it's won over some of the more skeptical workers at Canadice Construction. The saws do take a lot of power to, to operate, and especially if you're running two or three at one time. No, it's, it's done very well, and I'm quite impressed. We haven't had any problems with it. It's keeping nine guys busy. Gamble says this one unit alone will save him $5,000 a year, and his company has built a number of them that can be used for anything from construction sites to powering golf carts at golf courses. And with high gas prices seemingly here to stay, Gamble believes that alternative energy is the answer to the country's current economic woes. You get electric vehicles going, you get things like this where we're replacing gasoline, and um, the country's going to turn around. In Orchard Park, Adam Francis, 7 News.